Hello and welcome back to Crazy Dove Studio. This video is a short introduction about Microsoft SQL backups using Network. So I have made multi-part videos on this particular topic. So I have broken down the topics in, into different parts because I understand that not everyone wants to understand the topic in depth and just want to know how to configure the backups. Now Networker uses NMM or Networker module for Microsoft application to support the backup and restore of Microsoft SQL databases. In this video, we will look at how the Networker module for Microsoft interacts with SQL Server to do backup or restore. For how to configure videos, check the links in the description or check the SQL backup playlist. So first, let's take a look at how backups work in a traditional environment. So during a traditional backup, the backup starts from the NSR SQL program. Now the NSR SQL SV program can be started from either the command line on the SQL server or using the NSR SQL user on the, uh, on the SQL server itself, or it can be initiated using the scheduled backup from the networker server. Let's assume that uh, the backup is being initiated from the networker server. When the NSRD program initiates the NSR workflow on the networker server, the NSR workflow starts the save group program or save GRP program. The save GRP program in turn initiates the NSR SQL SV because that would be the backup command that is configured on the client to be run. Now the NSR SQL client will initiate the backup on the SQL Server using the SQL Backup API. This is also called as VDI. So once the backup is initiated, the backup data from the SQL Server is will be sent back to the Networker Server via the SQL Backup API. Unlike the normal file system backups, the NSR ExecD will not be handling the transfer of backup or streaming the backup directly. This in turn is handled by the XBSA. XBSA is a programming interface. Uh, it's called the Open Backup Service Application Programming Interface. Now XBSA in simple terms is the programming interface that allows the database to connect to the media management layer, which in our case is the networker application. While troubleshooting, if in case there are any errors which related to configuration of your networker server or anything that is related to media, that would generally show up in your xbsa.messages log. Now once the data has been sent over or uh, sent over to the networker server via the networker X XBSA programming interface that is going to reach the NSR MMD, which in turn is going to write media information to the media database and then send the data to the respective device. Now, once the backup ha has been generated, the data has been generated for the backup, the uh, NSR SQL SV and Networker XVSA are all responsible for sending the data across and also the metadata to the networker server. So here if you can see you will see that the uh, uh, the NSR SQL is sending the NSR index D data to the networker server to uh, store the catalogs whereas the data is being sent to the NSR MMD which is the media management layer on the network server and that in turn is now generating the media information and sending it to the media database via NSR MM DBD and it is streaming the data to our target device. Now a similar thing is going to happen even if you are initiating the backup on the SQL uh, server that is either by using the command line or by using the uh, plugin that is uh, available for uh, SQL Management Studio or if in case you are using the networker user for SQL. In all of those cases, NSR SQL SV is directly initiated on, uh, on the SQL server and that in turn is going to manage the uh, backup, generation of backup and the and also would coordinate the backup data being sent over to the target along with the metadata. Now what if in case you are using always on availability group on SQL Server. So here the backup is going to be a federated backup. So what exactly is meant by federated? Federated is a scenario wherein you have a copy of data or 
replicas of data on multiple servers and you are going to use the replica to backup rather than the original data on your active server so always on is a kind of um, uh, availability solution for sql wherein the data is replicated between multiple nodes of your availability group we will see availability groups configuration more in detail when we look at the configuration videos so in a federated backup scenario you have an option on the sql server to select as to which node is going to be responsible for sending the data so let's assume that uh, we have two nodes here one is going to be an active node the other is going to the, be the passive node and on the sql server you have configured the backup source to be the passive node in such a case what happens is when the backup is initiated via the nsr work which in turn is going to initiate the save grp the save grp in turn is going to initiate the nsr sql sv program on the active node of the cluster and this is also called as a coordinator process now the coordinator process queries the sql server and detects the backup preference and the priority from the availability group and starts the worker process on the detected preferred node now the worker process is the nsr sql sv on the node which is configured to be the back backup source the backup that is being generated from um, such a configuration is going to be under the name of the availability group so now let's take a quick look at uh, how the restores work so restore is pretty similar to how the backups work but just in the other direction uh, now the restores uh, is usually initiated from the target server so we have an option for our restoring data from one sql server to another sql server so it is always advised to run the restore from the target server even though the source and the target is the same so the restore is handled by the nsr sql rc binary and as you can see here the nsr sql rc is going to interact with the sql server again using the sql backup api so when nsr sql program starts the recovery the xbsa api translates the object names from the nmm request into the format that networker understands and forwards the translated objects to the networker server nsrd process the nsr mmd media service contacts the nsr dbd service to reach the networker server media base for the volume that contains the requested information after the media is mounted the nsr mmd program sends the data through the nsr xbsa api to the nsr sql rc which then sends the data to the networker server through the api so this is the general flow of how a recovery works however there are a few things that you need to keep in mind so if in case you're restoring user data that is not any of the system databases then the restore is done directly to the respective database depending on what kind of restore you're doing but if in case you are trying to restore one of the system databases like you know master db uh, and so on then in such a scenario when the restore is initiated the sql services on your uh, sql server are restarted into single user mode and after the recovery finishes it is again going to restart into the normal mode this was a quick introduction on how backup and restore works for works for microsoft sql using nmm on the next video we will take a look at how to configure backup on an all always on sql configuration thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video i hope you found this useful if you have any questions or comments share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my twitter account i will see you on another video Goodbye.